that mean for, for the winter? Long winter. Long Remember, yeah. you know, and last year we had the super El Nino. Well, it all depends on what's happening out there on the ocean. So that's the best place to turn to see how things may shake out this winter. More rain here on the Oregon coast, but you can expect to see more than normal this winter if La Nina plays out, and it's looking more and more likely that that's going to happen. The ocean water thousands of miles off our coast is starting to cool down, and that changes the position of the jet stream, putting us in the line of fire, meaning more storms, cooler than normal temperatures, and potentially a lot more snow. Last year, Mount Hood had above average snowpack, and a potential La Nina this year means we could have another great year on the mountain. We love anything that says La Nina on it because <laughs> yeah. that usually means it's a little bit colder and that uh, um, you know we're going to get more, more snow, snow. And, and and a good quality of snow. So we're we're kind of banking on that. Mount Hood has already seen over a foot of early season snow, and it's been one of the wettest Octobers on record. Still, La Nina isn't officially here just yet. Right now, we are in what's known as a neutral phase or normal, an anything can go type of weather pattern. But even normal years tend to deliver great snow. During a normal winter in the Pacific Northwest, the snow piles quickly. And by the time we get to the holiday season, the snow base is about eight feet deep, or at least to the top of these stairs. With La Nina on the horizon, that helps tip the odds in our favor to see even more snow on the mountain. And because it changes the storm track, that means more rain and a better chance for valley snow or ice. So here's how it works. The ocean water in the eastern equatorial Pacific has started to cool down, and that suppresses thunderstorm activity, meaning more thunderstorms developing farther west, and that puts a huge kink in the jet stream. And so now the storm track is aimed right over the Pacific Northwest, meaning more storms, more rain, and also it puts us in a track to get more cool air from the north, and that can mean colder winters too. Yeah, so this is what the outlook looks like for a typical La Nina around here. Cooler than normal temperatures for us in the Pacific Northwest. More chances for low elevation snow and ice storm events. And then you get wetter than normal conditions too. So more chances for rain. And of course, what we love in the mountain, above mm -hmm. average snowpack typically. So that's a normal La Nina. One thing to keep in mind uh, looking ahead to this La Nina is it is looking like it's going to be a weaker one. So it doesn't seem to be the impacts are usually not as dramatic. But we'll be watching it closely. But it could be a little cooler. And as you were putting the story yeah. together, things were even sort of changing pretty oh, dramatically yeah. for you. And then look at this October. I mean, already almost eight inches, almost the wettest on record. That's so. incredible. Yeah. Thanks for putting that together. Yeah, that was yeah. great, Kristen. Thanks. We'll be right back.